coming on to the chemical properties of nonmetals we start with reaction of metals with oxygen in general metals react with oxygen to form metal oxides so any metal reacts with oxygen to form metal oxide these oxides are basic in nature this is important to note that the nature of metal oxides is basic for example reaction of sodium with oxygen balanced equation for sodium reacting with oxygen is sodium reacts with oxygen to form sodium oxide sodium oxide reacts with water to form an alkali called sodium hydroxide that can be represented by the equation so the earlier equation shows the reaction with sodium reaction of sodium with oxygen to form sodium oxide while the second equation shows the reaction of sodium oxide with water to form sodium hydroxide from the second reaction we can say that sodium hydroxide is a basic oxide because it forms a base or an alkali with water due to the formation of sodium hydroxide the solution of sodium oxide in water turns red litmus blue this is the most common test with which we can detect whether a given substance is basic in nature or not a basic substance turns red litmus blue similarly we can take another example considering the reaction of magnesium with oxygen magnesium reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide mgo like na2o that is sodium oxide mgo reacts with water to form magnesium hydroxide thus when a metal combines with oxygen it loses its valence electrons and form positively charged metal ions we can say that oxidation of metal occurs so when metals react with oxygen oxidation of metals occur but all the metals do not react with oxygen with equal ease so we are now considering the reactivity of metals with oxygen the reactivity of oxygen depends upon the nature of metal so all the metals do not react with oxygen with equal reactivities some metals react with oxygen even at room temperature while some other react on heating while still others react only on strong heating so we can consider different examples to understand the reactivity of metals with oxygen metals like sodium potassium calcium react with oxygen at room temperature for example we had seen the example of sodium we can consider another example of potassium potassium reacts with oxygen to form potassium oxide k2o
this reaction occurs at room temperature similarly calcium reacts with oxygen to form calcium oxide cao this reaction also occurs at room temperature next category of examples that we can consider is metals like magnesium and zinc do not react with oxygen at room temperature they burn in air only on strong heating to form corresponding oxides so me metals like magnesium and zinc react with oxygen on heating we had seen the example of magnesium considering the example of zinc zinc reacts with oxygen to form zinc oxide zno and for this reaction heat should be supplied the next set of examples is metals like iron and copper do not burn in air even on strong heating however they react with oxygen only on prolonged heating so metals like iron and copper react with oxygen on prolonged heating considering the equations for their reaction iron reacts with oxygen to form fe3o4 that is iron 2 3 oxide again this reaction requires heating and that to prolonged heating similarly copper reacts with oxygen to form copper oxide heat is required for this reaction also so all these examples show that different metals have different reactivity towards oxygen and the next chemical property of non metals is reaction of metals with water metals react with water to form metal oxide or hydroxide so metal react with water to form metal oxide or metal hydroxide whatever is formed may be metal oxide or may be metal hydroxide hydrogen gas is evolved in the reaction the reactivity of metal towards water depends upon the nature of metals again different metals have different reactivity towards water some metals react even with cold water some what react with water on only heating while there are other some metals which do not react even with steam so we can consider different examples for different cases for example metals like sodium and potassium react vigorously with cold water to form their corresponding hydroxides and liberate hydrogen gas considering their reactions sodium reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide along with the evolution of hydrogen gas and water taken here is cold water similarly potassium 
reacts with water to form potassium hydroxide along with the evolution of hydrogen gas. Again potassium reacts with cold water. Calcium also reacts with cold water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. However, this reaction is less violent as compared to the reaction of sodium and potassium with water which is so violent that the hydrogen gas evolved catches fire very easily. Considering the example of calcium, calcium reacts with water to form calcium hydroxide along with the evolution of hydrogen gas. The next set of examples showing the different reactivities of metals with water is metals like magnesium react very slowly with cold, cold water but react rapidly with hot boiling water forming magnesium oxide and hydrogen. So magnesium reacts very easily with hot water. Magnesium reacts with water to form magnesium oxide along with the evolution of hydrogen gas. Water taken here is hot water or boiling water. 